Go remembers being 17. She was a good student, lived in a nice neighborhood, and was in love. I was in love, and I didn't want to lose, you know, that person. So I felt like in order for me to keep him, I had to make him happy. First, she says they smoked marijuana together, but then he wanted her to try something new. Gave me foil, whatever hash was, and a straw, and I smoked it. Brittany says she had no idea she was smoking heroin. Before long, she was addicted and spent the next four years panhandling and living on the streets. We would sleep behind dumpsters. We would sleep behind like a Walmart, wherever we could find. Her mother worried sick, begging her to come home. Brittany only agreed when she was 14 weeks pregnant. When you found out you were pregnant, what was your reaction? Shocked and happy and sad. Like I didn't even want to think about it. I just kind of let it go as long as I could. <laughs> until, you know, I started getting bigger. But with the help of her parents and a specialized program at UNM Hospital, Brittany stopped using for about five months to give birth to a healthy baby girl. She stayed clean for another four months, but last week started using again. Now that she's here, it's a little bit harder for me. Why is that? It's just being a new mom? Yeah. Her parents called the Children, Youth, and Families Department. Caseworkers now randomly drug test Brittany twice a week. She shares her story to show how quickly drugs can derail someone's life. I would never touch heroin, ever. It never even crossed my mind. But that you can get back on track with the right resources and support from family. Hi, Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News.